Hey, hi. So I really quickly want to thank the YouTube user Vil Yardos. Um, they recently commented on session 36 of Descent of Avernus uh, Division, stating that it was kind of hard to see what was going on. Um, I totally did not account for people on maybe smaller screens, as I use 2K and 4K monitors and a 1080p one, but it's still pretty big. So, yeah. So what I've done is I've instead gone and changed it. So it used to look like this. Um, you know, a bit like this. Now it looks more like this. Obviously this is the Evil Prune one, but they have all updated. So if I go to Avernus, if I go to Icewind Dale, or if I go to Van Delbert, or if I go back to Petna. So yeah. Blocks a little, but everything else is still the same. There's actually a little bit more ad space down the bottom as well. So, uh, thank you very much, mate. I didn't realise how that was impacting people. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's anything else. I think it's going to get looked into, but thank you. And I hope to see you all very soon. Yeah. Don't think about it too much. The because... Thinking about that too much is really going to spoil the fact that I need you to think about what we done last week for the recap. Oh, I got killed. Recap. You're not life. the main character here, Ruby. God, other things happened. Um. We went back to Eltero after leaving the scab. We decided to, uh, to visit Eltero to see if there's any silver for the ceremony spell um we found we after some struggles we climbed up the um the chains and we went back to the church where we left uh some of the other characters and the alterellians and it was empty most not a lot of human dead bodies we also uh, befriended the, the, the zombies and stuff um, on the way there after talking to a horse guy I forgot the name um, uh, yeah we befriended them so we didn't have to deal with with any any attacks we did find some silver uh, we also found it went to the bank found the vault we dropped it on the sandwich enjoyer uh, off of Elturel, and it nearly destroyed the car. Uh, and then we were trying to rest after Corby and Smiles tried to open the vault and get a bunch of gold and silver. Uh, and then Smiles decided to just kill Opal because he's a hero, apparently. <laughs> Yay! You can just hear the spite in your voice. We all. Heard it. We could taste that little air it on the palate. But as you are now all here after having taken a long rest, uh, I guess right now I shall be the smiles that you all want to need. As you arise once more, the um, the mangled parts of opal. Still in the cars, crushing more. Why be hands? Will be hands. Um, Rupert and Cog is two gold bars, <laughs> and keeps two for Farcival. And then I think he looks at Cargus because Cargus said that he was sort of like a weaponsmith. This is of uh, all these silver bars. I think he said twelve of them this be enough for the spell? For the spell? Uh, how much did we need again? Two fifty. Uh, uh, we need 25 uh, golds worth of silver. Uh, so don't we Scottish, don't... should I roll something for that? With my jeweler's tools, for example? Uh...
I need to go to Opal Sheet to uh to read the spell. Going to five gold pieces worth of powdered silver for share money. Going to five gold pieces worth of powdered silver. Yes. As you you look at the bar, and it would require more metalsmith to get into this. Definitely a full. You'd have to bore into it fully to extract a core sample to say, but you reckon alone that one of these silver bars, even if it is only 25% silver, is going to be more than enough. You just need to find don't a way to make like, powder. Don't they usually like print on how pure the silver is? Like stamped on it, it's like, oh, this is 99% pure. They do. That's why he said, even if it's just 25%. Oh, but, al but also, Ruby, mm -hmm. forgeries still exist in this world. True. But it is. Um, so. It's stamped with a weight. With my jewelers, and it feels about the right weight. Uh, with my, either my jeweler's tools or my smith's tools, could I. Um, or just with. I know. Background information. <clears throat> um, could I estimate the the worth of of one bar mm. with or without boring into it? The estimated value of one bar of silver is about. Given that's about a kilo worth of silver, I don't know. I don't know what they put that in fake freedom units in terms of that. When you get a bar from the banks, we'll say a kilo. It's about one point one pounds. Uh, two point one pounds. A two pound yeah. bar. Uh, the bar alone, if it's one hundred percent pure, is worth about two thousand silver pieces. Yeah. yeah, so two hundred gold. For the entirety um, of the bar, and you've been given how many bars was it again, Corby? Twelve. Oh yeah. Then I'll say to the party, "Hmm. Well, if this is your silver, then I estimate it's around maybe two hundred gold pieces worth." So, if I give you two bars, that should be enough for you to make mistakes if need be. I'll have. The one chance. Oh yes, I'm sure. Uh, I'll pass him two of the silver bars. Mm -hmm. As you get these two nice hefty kilogram weights of silver bar. And I need yes. to ask. How are you turning those into powder? I have smithing tools. Um, I don't think smithing tools has um, has anything to make powder out of the metal. But the jeweler's tools has... Um... Wait, let me just check what's inside the jeweler's tools. Hammer, tongs, charcoal, rag, and whetstone. For me. What are you reading up? Uh, Smith Tools, I... The Smith from, Tools, uh, that? Yeah, it's from the PHP, page 154. Oh! Doesn't Smith give you that in the description of Smith Tools at all, which is like really annoying. Oh. Smith yeah, Tools, hammers, description. Tongs, charcoal, arcane in history, investigation, repair, activities. Wait, where does it say? For the both smiths and jeweler's tools, uh, a jeweler's tool comprises of small, of a small saw and hammer, files, pliers, and tweezers. Well, there we go. Files, uh, files should that should be uh, metal files, which means we should be able to use that on, on metal. Oh, sorry. The thought of like filing metal makes my skin crumble. But wait, filing doesn't make it a powder. It's putting it under immense pressure that powderizes. 
I mean, if you file something, there will be a powder coming off. And if you file it down a lot, then there will be a lot of powder. Got nothing else to lose. I guess it's just semantics at this point, my bad. Yep. Okay, do, they, do they... Sorry. I was gonna ask, do they know Opal's dead? Yes. Well, we, well I, are, yeah. I tried asking about why is the robot's guts in the car and nobody answered. <laughs> so who's gonna perform ceremony if Opal's dead? Good question! <laughs> So, I, I, I don't, are we yeah. worrying yeah. about? To be Zuba. fair, first of all, you're, you're not there. You're not asking this question. So. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking I your, your I know mental Corby capacity as a player. I know, I know what Corby would say, but he hasn't been asked that question by anyone here yet. How are we supposed to use uh, the ceremony spell when the cleric's guts is leaking oil from our machine? The oh, fuck, Rupert? Also, where'd you get that question from? In the machine. <laughs> I assume that Smiles has an answer for that, seeing as dealt with Opal last night. And if not, well, Rupert, maybe you can repair her. I'm just going to take one look at her, poke the robot, a bit falls off, and say, Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to fix that. Make, make a deck shape where you get zapped for one lightning damage. <laughs> uh, you see, the one person who could probably deal with the dead is dead. <laughs> you salvage like only some parts, so you like re you repair yeah you repair Opal, but she's like half her height. She's like a halfling. <laughs> no, no, no! I only repair her head. She's just a talking head now. It's like that baby from Toy Story that has like the legs coming out. Nah, it's like that scene from Robocop 2012 where he's just a head and lungs in a box. Yeah. <laughs> As you fail the shit down, you fail and fail mm -hmm. and fail and fail. You haven't had a workout like this in quite some time. As you fail some more and fail some more, you change hand, you fail some more, you fail some more. You ask, you ask Rupert to take over for a little bit because your hands are getting sore. You fail some more and you fail some more. There's a lot of friction going on here. How much of this bar do you wish to fail out of curiosity? In terms of a percentage of, say, a... Say an 8 inch by 2 inch bar. I think that's 12 inches. Like <laughs> It's average size bar. 8 by 2 by 2. So, 8 long... Too high and too wide. Um, I guess like two out of the eight inches of length. So four by two by two by two cube. Yeah, so a quarter. Which you just, eight. which should be more than enough. During this filing and conversation, can I just start like fixing and cleaning the car effectively? <laughs> He's just like any Audi driver out there. Wiping the windshield, <laughs> I miss my wife. Uh, just, just, while he's like picking out bits of Opal, he's not gonna be disrespectful. He will like bury Opal or something. He's not gonna just like toss her um, corpse aside. It's just. Uh, Isn't that normally what you do with scrap metal? I, I, I mean, how much. Okay, he's not Opal as a person, my guy. How and much of it is even left? Because it did get zapped, but like basically beamed up by lightning. So, uh, you do find yourself some interesting things on Opal's body. I miss oh my god! I do? I mean, you're right there. So, you automatically already know that she had the cloak of bellowing because she bellowed at every once in a while. Is it still intact? Magical items should... don't break like that, my guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's also the boots of elven kind still attached to a toe. <laughs> That's what you can uh -huh. see. Everything else is going to require you to root round that primordial mess of what's left that just every now and then sparks and goes tumor. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. I'm already cleaning the car and taking out her uh, bits from the car. Pex bits the dead seagull out the grill. Oh. The uh, idea that my... has robotic toes deeply disturbs me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I Wait, hold I, on. How did the seagull get down here? <laughs> it's been it's been it's been inside Opal all this time. Apparently, you know, the seagulls come from hell. Hey, don't uh, reveal my character secrets. <laughs> But, uh, view for the end. As, as Rupert's rooting through the corpse of Opal, it's yeah. just the occasional thing is possible. <laughs> Sir. At what point do they bump into the voice box and it just goes, I'm a robot. <laughs> so, Infernal Tack, a nice little set of things on her feet that you find. You find a beautiful looking deck or cards, which I wish I could. I can actually just use D&D Beyond and every time I say this it's like I forget that part. A nice little set of cards. A second holy symbol round her neck. Which uh... Were you dead for that? I forget. Can I identify the cards they're related that? to? I think it might have been stupid. No, he was there. Uh, the first time that um... First time that Corby took your holy symbol from you. I don't know. He also finds um, his own uh, badge of office from Alder's Did you plant I, my badge on Opal's coat? I, yeah, I, sw I swapped it for the uh, for Opal's um, holy symbol. <laughs> it was Opal who stole my badge! My badge. As he pockets his, pockets his badge. Uh, you find the amulet of the devout, pack of cards, the cloak of billowing, the infernal tack, and the boot of elven canned. Right. Let me check the bags for anything, or what's left of the bag. Yeah, there's nothing in these bags. Wonder why. Mm. And uh, you also find uh, you also find sixty gold pieces that are all just uh, kind of mangled together and would require well it's, it's 60, 60 gold pieces worth of uh, mangled gold at this point. Uh, I mean, I could probably break it down later. At a later date, so I guess I'll pocket the sixty gold lump. <coughs> so that's gonna be uh, uh da, 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 create new item. <laughs> sixty gold lump. Right then, as we're in hell, as much as I don't care for looting the dead, we need all the advantages we can get. So, right then. Who needs these boots the most? <laughs> well, Given I already Minari. have boots. Uh, the Given... cloak, if if that's not a magical one, I could use it. Thanks, uh, Phil. Uh, wait, do I know these items by name? What they do? I think Opal had brought up the cloak of bellowing a couple of hundred times. Yeah, and the boots. You are the one. You and Smiles are the ones that identified them. I'm just double checking. So they were identified by Smiles and passed on, and then passed out. So, all right then. Uh, these boots help with uh, sneaking about, and the coke just make coke. <laughs> the coke. I found these the rocks the on her. I don't know what they do. <laughs> the cloak uh, makes you feel cool. So, who mm. wants what? I don't suppose we have uh, a way to take the enchantment off the cloak? Unless this was infused by an artificer and that artificer is dead. Mm. Then I don't want it. We'll see. You are aware <laughs> that the cloak... Double checking it myself as well, but you're aware that the cloak does not require attunement. I'm just gonna say, here, you want to play hero? Here's a king. As I hand over the cloak of billowing to Smiles. What'd you give me? The cloak of billowing from Opal's corpse. The fuck is a cloak of billowing? Oh, oh my god. god. It makes you 
cooler. While wearing this cloak, you can use a bonus action to make it billow dramatically. Oh. Oh, it's shit. Just a flavor machine. And the Hellfire Whoa. Lance. Totally forgot about that. Oh my god, that's, that's important. Oh my god, you can wield the thing that killed you! You can wield the thing? What? Wait, what did you Are say, you... Quinn? It cut out for me? I said you can wield the thing that killed you! Ha! Smells? Oh, he can. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, this is a martial weapon, right? Yep. Yes. I can use it. Like that I think. Ever Wait, let me, let me I... check my proficiencies. Can I just take ah, damn it, simple yeah, magic right. items myself first, seeing as I looted Opal or Smiles did? I don't recall hey, you saying you were too busy that. being you too be too busy being quizzed about how we're going to do the spell that you've killed Opal. Oh, is that the case? Shit. Oh wait, no, you. Uh, I, mean, I, I do see out. I do see I'm... here that he did say after I'd collect any magic items, not ground down, I'd drive back. The uh, oh. I'd say the disc perk <laughs> of tech. So uh, amulet of devout, book, uh, boots of elven kind, defeat dealer's deck, infernal tack, cloak of billowing, hellfire lance were all the magic items that were left. Oh, never mind then. Um, what is a hellfire lance? What does that do? Uh, fuck around me. and find out. Makes you slime. It makes it's me what? Excuse me. me? It's um, the weapon of the the knight on the nightmare. Yeah, the Narzagon. Okay, you remember Rupert. its name. Uh, I only remember it because I looked at their, like, sheet recently. Not their sheet, but their, like, wiki page. Uh, anyways, I guess, uh, didn't, never mind on those magical items. They're all Didn't smiles. we find out, actually, that the Hellfire Lance, like, turns you into a Lemir when you kill someone with it? Or, like, it turns the person that you kill into a Lemir or something? I don't know. Um, Smiles will distribute the items and he'll, he'll go, oh, I've had it, um, if no one wants it, I'd like the amulet. Oh, shit. And a cloak. <laughs> I like to be dramatic. <laughs> what do you, what do you don't want to Could I, uh, see that lance? Sure. <laughs> hey. If you don't mind, Tuck's hair behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles, you want the amulet of the devout? Uh, if no one else wants it, if someone else wants it, they can have it. What is a Fate Dealer's deck, by the way? Let me see what this is. It's a uh, plus one spell focus for Cleric for for Paladin. Paladin. Ah. Oh, wait, they're from. Oh, they're from the Book of Many Things. I've used them before. Never mind. Yeah. I thought there was something else. <laughs> got I think we got one that. One of the devout added right. to your sheet. Hell yeah. I think Might we got have to manually add in the hand Hellfire Lance. I got you, honey, don't worry. Okay. Corby would also mention that if anything makes you quieter, that's a good thing. <laughs> Rupert. I mean... Oh, fire line started, Rupert. <laughs> Thank you. I mean... I mean, it Your wouldn't make me have disadvantage right? anymore, so, I mean, I guess if nobody else wants the boots of Elven Kai. Uh, I think you need it more than me. Well then. Uh, thank you, Smart. Thank you. To... <laughs> Bits of Elven Kind coming to you there, Rupert. Right. Didn't the, the, the deck of Fate or whatever? Did we originally get that actually like back in Baldur's Gate from like Ori Ori? Or is that a different deck that he had? Oh no, that came so from Ori Ori. Ori Ori had that yeah. since like. That's what I'm saying. Early. I think he got that from the lady on the ship, I think. Yeah. And she's are doing all this, and Corby and. I believe it's Corby and Rupert turn to smiles as Calgis is just fucking grinding, so two hands and everything, he's at it. They turn to smiles and ask that question that they asked that was never answered. So, Smiles, I assume as you decided to do what you did, you're, you have a plan for our uh, spellcasting thing that we needed Opal for. The silence is deafening. Whoa. I don't... Because I, I, I had two plans. 
I don't remember if I asked number one, um, which was, was it considered a curse, uh, the thing of, of this place? The alignment shifting uh, feature. <laughs> well, we're not sure. Don't think so. Um, when these guys brainstormed, I pointed out, and Farcival brainstormed, felt that it was more likely that using Opal spell to make someone, it puts air quotes, good again, would be more likely to work than anything else we could do. Yeah, I, mean, I'm just... I, I thought. I thought when Sorry. you decided to proceed with your plan, you had some other plan. Otherwise, we might have to go back up there and see if we can find anyone who's still good. And he points up to Elthrow. Uh, I had uh, a few ideas. One of them was the Elthrow thing, which was a bit of a last-ditch effort plan. The other one was that since I came down here, I felt a sudden shift in my ideals, and I'm wondering if that might be a curse of sorts. And I might have something against curses. And one last idea I really had, or two, was ask Maggie if she knows any good aligned creature. And another last resort was Maddie. And I do have something open with him right now. And I don't fully remember. I'm, I'm not sure if I ever asked that. The one devil that speaks giant that only smiles i think could communicate with that used to be something else right that's not a proper devil mm, if given the information I, most devils don't speak giant you can read into that however you wish i don't um, remember if if the creature said it um that he's not a devil that he was turned into one <clears throat> he said he that he was cursed to be what he is but what he was prior is unknown those are all my days listing the the giant speaking devil thing i forgot i always forget the name <coughs> I got one there's, also the devil. there's also trying to find lulu or the unicorn actually are... Also less I might just... be able to do that. Hmm? I might be able to do that. Go on. There's a bunch of loose days here, but it's definitely a doable list of elimination. Cool. I... Well, what, what do you, where do you want to start? I'll start with this real quick. I'll try and contact the little elephant directly. Lulu, you said, right? Wait, you're able to contact Lulu? Maybe. I'll try. Um, Smiles is going to count ending, not knowing whether or not Lulu is, you know, knowing the name and the description is counts as familiar. But he's going to try and cast it anyway. You were familiar with Lulu prior. <coughs> In that case, let me just write up a little message real quick. Scottish, you also said that within the safe there were a few pendants and trinkets. Are any of them standoutish or interesting, or are they just doodars to be left? Um, there are, uh, like, you know, I believe I'd said there was, like, a... Like a pendant of the Zentharm in there. Uh, there are also a few... Like... Older looking holy symbols, shall we say. When I say older... I mean like there's... Like a holy symbol to Saloon that still has like... A flat background on it as opposed to being stars and it's a lot more crudely made. Which would make you think it's maybe been passed down through families for generations. 
is most of the stuff in there does seem quite old. It seems more security deposit boxy than safe type. So some poor guy got to no, run the Deltarell robbed. There's no Raven Queen or Orcus symbol in it. No, nothing of the such. And I'll just leave those on the ground where they were left. Bells, as you pass out and say, Hey Lulu, we need a good aligned creature to open the door of the scab. For the greater good, could you help? Here. After a brief moment. Yeah. And open the door. Where I am now. Dark. I <laughs> And you can't get here. I think that was like just under twenty five words. Maybe it was. Was it uh, absolutely understandable in any way, shape, or form? No. Could you write it out, please? Yeah. Um, in the meantime... Yeah, this was the rough gist of it. Hold on real quick. Sorry, someone was shouting at me. Uh, yeah. That's all she says? How is that under 25 words? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 less than 25. You can't count. It's 11 less. I just said 14 is less than 25. Oh, sorry. I can hear you then. Uh, Yale? Where am I? You can't get to me. Okay. I'll send another sending. The name Yale doesn't mean anything to me, does it? No. Uh, I'll send that. Any idea where you are? <coughs> Who or where Yale? Anyone else? Fucking oh, God. You get the. We're back after a moment. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The protector of. The. The scab. She came with us. No other creatures I am aware of. I, I don't know if Dark would know this because he wasn't here. He's being paid by Gwyn, but when Smiles went through, like past the door with magic, a female ghost sort of blasted him back through the door. And straight on to death saves right after a long rest. That was insane. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't there for that. Uh... That does sound pretty insane.
Your heel came down with a protector of the scab. No other creatures I'm aware of. They laugh and fight and snarl. It's dark and scary. So afraid he ran away. I'll ask the others as well if they've um, ever heard of Yale. Um, and in the meantime, if you could write it out again, please. And no one replies, uh, I'm assuming. I didn't realize you were talking to us. Sorry. Um, have any of you ever heard of uh, Yale? Um, yeah. uh, nope. We're just communicating nope. right now with that. Uh, no idea what the Yale is. Sounds like a college. <laughs> Apologies, I had to get oh. Giros. Or oh, oh, well, you lock someone up. Fuck you, Tom. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, could Calgius roll something to remember if he knows anything about Yale, considering his background? Sure, sure. Um, is that history or Arcana? Yeah. Or... That's right. Uh, so, so let me get some details. So, you know with your yep. background and what you are that Yale is a lock manufacturer and subsidiary of Asa Alboy, the company headquarters in a place called Stockholm, Sweden. As for the other Yale, doesn't ring a bell. Rather weird name, weirdly spelt. I may write this down for a gark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then. As I remember, there's a locksmith called Yale in the far north. Is that correct? A locksmith? I mean, that would help with a door, probably, especially when it's magical. Yeah. But then. Oh, but it was bang on 25 words. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yo, come down with us. She protects the scab. I know I've known like computer creatures. Uh, it's dark there. They, they laugh and it's scary. Uh. Takes a scab. Okay. Uh, one more sending. Just gonna burn through all of these. Um. Sure. Smiles can put the link between Laffy and Knowles, right? I would have asked you to make him a history check if he didn't quite get it, but. Yeah. Well, I wasn't there for that session, so I can still make it. You weren't there? For... No, you were. No, I wasn't. You were in the scab when you heard it, and they were already making those connections. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, uh, Laffy might be Knowles. Uh, what was your last name? Laffy might be Knowles. Maybe. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to send that that early. So maybe you're in the scab. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to say yell to help us. What was your last known location? Laughing might be no, so maybe you're in a scab somewhere. Sec. What'd you say? I said, give me a sec. D and D, the only game in which I'll play that actually makes me enjoy counting. <laughs> D and D, math but fun. Would be fun. You know something, Parshall? Is Parshall the game? You know something, Quinn? We got a TV <laughs> show over here you'd love called Countdown. <laughs> they do numbers and words. Yay. And if you want a spin, if you, if you want a funny spin on it, eight out of ten cats do a countdown. Being a game shows, the last session I played with like a friend, um, he made us play Jeopardy for the life of one of our party members and literally cast his oh, that's screen. Such a good fucking idea. And he made us play, like, Jeopardy with a bunch of, like, fairies. <laughs> oh, no. And, and my character kept getting, like, getting our points deducted because he couldn't understand the concept of answering the answers and questions. <laughs> he kept getting the answers right, but they were like, um, you didn't answer a question, and then they would just, like, take the life from one of our players. One of our, our, one of our barbarian... Arms um, is now aged 40 years until we can go back there and get them back. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. You get a response back. Yale's behind the door. It's spiky here. Everything's violent and fighting. You know who is coming. But who's coming? You know uh, who. Um, well, considering I'm the one with the foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> it's an STI. Dun -dun 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 <laughs> That's all you get back. Fantastic. The whole time they're sending is in a hushed tone. I hope this helps. Gark is deaf and muted. <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> 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 I'm sitting here you waiting for a reply. Say, hold on, I'm getting yelled at or something real here. Mm. The bill collector for his data plan showed up to his house. It's his. It's the IRS. Oh wait, no, wait. They're not American. CP license. <laughs> it's what? Tax tax yeah, yeah, there we go. What? Sorry? What? I was, I was deafened, sorry, I, I got a sudden phone call. Mm. What just what? happened? Mm. I typed what uh I typed what was said. A what was said? From the sending back to you. <laughs> um Yells behind the door, it's spiky here, everything violent and fighting. You know who is coming. I don't, but thanks. I mean, at this, at this point, I know who you know who means. <laughs> it's spiky here, everything in violent and fighting. So, who, who, who's, who, so who she is in now? Probably. Okay. In that case, I would like to take out my Orb of Dragon kind. Uh -huh. um, and I'll ask people to, to huddle around me and go, okay, I'm going to try... And kind of scary the area around the elephant to kind of see what you know what might we be able to see. 
and uh, I like to cast crying and oh shit hopefully someone gave me a likeness of her hold on I'm going to summon to you so uh... you have second hand knowledge of the target you have first hand knowledge of the target you're familiar with it mate. like you've met Lulu you travelled with her I forgot <laughs> <laughs> Damn, um, that's cold. Did Smiles yeah. meet Lulu? Yeah, he did, right? Yeah. He was he was in the we, like we had the sandwich enjoyer. We had Lulu in the sandwich or you know, in the first car. Did you yeah. grab the crystal ball out of fear and disgust and as everybody huddles round as you try not to retch and vomit and you stare into the orb, into the ball, and you look and you look and you look. Nothing happens. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I just saw almost, uh, Barcival's comment. <laughs> you don't okay, even feel so the spell reach out. Non-detection? Or she's being a tiny little cunt about it and succeeding. But... Um, in that case, I'll say to the others, Um, well, yeah, back in the sky, Biel's the best bet. I am assuming that Lulu is somewhere in the scab as well. She's saying that you know who is coming. I think we deducted who that is. I'm not sure how prompt we all feel about going in there and scouring out the place. Um, out of character, I don't remember if we've done that fully. I, I we, don't know if we did a genocide run. Genocide speed run. That happened. <laughs> Canon yeah, event. my fault. That happened. Okay. Yep, Canon event, 17 rounds of combat later. Yep. <laughs> Nearly a six hour session. Um, do we know of any location with spikes? She also didn't say how to persuade Yale to help us. She fucking. Gark, I'm also. We're going to ask you to read scrying one more time. Oh. One more time. Oh. Come on, baby, read me one more time. <laughs> oh, Come on, she... baby, one more time. Is she on the fucking abyss? Okay. <laughs> we have an issue. Lulu. We have a problem. Lulu might currently be in the realm of demons and not able to help us. So we can cross that. That yeah, old fella might be able to help us, but I think we've seen her before. I'm not sure if we can try and talk to her before. My next step is try and contact Maggie, or we can go ahead and try Yale first. Who's Yale? We're trying to yell at. Yale, Yale is uh, someone behind the door, apparently. Could it be that woman you saw? You also saw her to report with your ring of X-ray vision, remember? Yeah, we is a woman, so very well could be. If we try talking to her, sorry, I'm a little bit, you know, amnesiac. Oh, no worries. I'm not worrying. You already forgot what you were worrying about. <laughs> sure. Could could you, uh, fix to anxiety, forget everything. Did we try and talk to her, is uh, my question. Uh, we didn't really get the opportunity to, as we got immediately snapped back out, or at least you did. You got oh. insta yoked straight out of the place as soon as you were teleported in. It was basically, you don't belong here. You don't belong here, cause I miss smiles. Don't do that. Um, I'll Parish. do another sending. Hopefully this isn't Lovely. boring to most people. I'll do another sending, this time to Maddie. Um, and I'll go... I'll do this one privately, though. Spell slot is absolutely demolished. <laughs> <laughs> no spell slot, no farcible. <laughs> Opal's dead. What's next? 
Oh fuck, it's Tiamat! Yay. I didn't do that privately, but whatever. Um, I'll send that to Maddie. Maggie, not Maddie. Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> Why are Sorry. there so many E's? Oh. A BB. A car! <laughs> he just runs him Ooh. over. Opal's <laughs> 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 now become one with the car. She got grinded and she like hot wired herself into the mecha me mechanisms. Yeah! yeah. Her new character was the car yeah. all along. Opal the tree. I made me barge this car, broom broom. <laughs> Get like lightning McQueen eyes. <laughs> Jerk. Nice. Opal the car engine. <laughs> Good job. No, because uh, lightning. Because she's a storm cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Used to need hobbies. <laughs> uh, talking, about hobbies, <laughs> talking about hobbies, how much uh, silver dust do I actually get out of it? Is it the the full fifty? Uh, how did uh, you know? Show you the grav. Bear in mind, the if, there, if there's not enough for the spell, the spell would not consume. What did you like to know? Just, what you know, I? also need someone to cast that spell. The, the wetter girl's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you said here, um... <clears throat> Pardon me. You can tell that I am full. Uh, fucking spell rate, Matthew! Uh... I like being missing. It's like watching ants in an ant farm just kind of scuttle around. It's beautiful. Marshall's up in the sky watching this like a show. Yeah. It shows up in nowhere. How'd you get here? I don't fucking know. I miss my teeth, Lane Zariel. I miss him a lot. Blammo. Oh. You know, at least, Tarshvo, so, you, you can actually, like, come back with Tarshvo. I just have to listen to my character uh, <laughs> getting fucking grave robbed and dissected <laughs> like a, like, thrown away pig, you know? Ruby, you played with the oh, graph, and the graph came back. Oh, yeah, no, I'm aware, but it's like, yeah, like, you don't know. Don't complain. I have better things to do. Opal did no, the thing that we couldn't don't. do. <laughs> She found it's out. As you <coughs> cast this off, <laughs> you I am already typing it out. Don't worry, but for everybody else's benefit, he hears a. <clears throat> hey, been long time. I've got nothing to change your feelings, but if you're homesick, I could just send you back, though, for a price. I do it for free, you guys complain. Come on. <laughs> Wait, I could have been charging people the whole time? I do it for free and I get stabbed. She offers yeah. to do it and everybody's okay. You also didn't permanently banish them. Why yeah. are they always ignoring one part of the question? Lulu did as well. Right, well, whatever. Um, well, they only have 25 spy. words to work with. Well, she's spending it. No, did they That's only have 25 cool. words? Or is it like they write out, like they say a response and at some point it just cuts off? Oh, so she's in her flirt game right now, Gark, okay? You took her into the tent the horny and showed is more her important. scrying. <laughs> Look, she's horny for your new horn. Oh, wait till what she finds out about that. I just won, though. A little one. He wants more than just a little, a little thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> little horns for a little thing. We take one, we take one joke and run it into the ground. Exactly. It's six feet under at this point. 
Like the force. Just like Opal. I was gonna say that actually. You beat me to it. <laughs> okay. My biggest thing right now is try and talk to Yale. If that doesn't work, I will contact Maddie or go to Eldrill. I have means, I reckon, of contacting this Yale once we're within the door. Funny, we had like a cleric, maybe. Not gonna lie, I thought you, at the briefest moment, I thought you said, I have memes, and I'm like, oh dear god. <laughs> yeah, if anyone had a cleric, that didn't hinder us. That didn't seem uh, I will say the bard has put the most hindrance on this on this quest so far. Uh, I need to agree with Ruby in that one there. <laughs> you have the silver, you get nothing to do with the spell. You, you had the silver, you were ready to go into the scab, and you were like, no, I'm not gonna like grab the sword and then stab them, so like we actually have the goal. No, I'm gonna stab them right before we get there and then put in <laughs> a crazy amount of effort. To figure out yeah. a way to get if, what we already had again. If you get a long rest, you get all your spells back. If you get a sword, that's even more trouble. This was the best strategy. Short term really? strategy, albeit, but still. <laughs> really driving up the ad revenue, at least. I don't. I don't got that shit, yo. I'd that's love it if I did. 30 minute ads every 30 minutes. Ah, oh, just like watching TV. Unless one of y'all wants to do something different, I can definitely understand if you don't want to go back to the scout. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Terrell. I want to say things because I know, but I can't say things because I know. Oh, the thing is, we went out to El Terrell. It looked like most things were dead. Don't know where like the last survivors went to, or the and the Duke. There might be someone, but there might be dead. There might be no one up there. Mm. We didn't find the bodies wonder. in the keep. Is the main thing. No, but they we. I saw them leave for the secret tunnel and then went up into El El Torel. They could just have been found somewhere else and a zombie now. Actually, good point. But we don't know for sure because we we didn't search the whole city for them. Fair. <clears throat> Damn, well, let me get salty. What? Uh, well, I I uh, offered a question or a choice, I suppose. Yeah, uh, it's it's on you. You took the lead in this, so we're following your decision, I believe. Oh, fuck me, alright. Well, uh, let's try Yale. Yeah. It might be a bit of a, a detour, but at least we killed the entire goddamn place. And I think that I could talk to her. Uh, maybe someone else can, but I think I can. <clears throat> Hopefully that is Yale. Yeah. You know what? Once we're all back, you know, once this old debate is settled, uh, I'll uh, treat you all to a good old pint of mead. If we survive, I'd love that. I'll make sure you survive, mate. Smiles, goes. Smiles talks to Yale. I cast my spell. Open sesame. <laughs> I cast. Open did sesame. Did, did, did I try to you good? Oh. What? Did you were on, you were on like you were on like six hit points, and Quinn didn't want to kill you. I. Yeah, oh. you you had in darkness, so that way creatures had disadvantage when attacking you. Um. <clears throat> Because, you know. Okay, I thought that was points. tried as well. That will be another option then. But for now, back to the scab. Good as plain as any. Then, <laughs> as you get in your mum's yeah. car. Yeah, this is not my ideal of a brum, summer vacation. Broom, broom. Broom, 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 broom. I want to be in my room. Drive <laughs> on. Towards the scab. Farcival, you just occasionally hear Rupert say, I miss Farcival. I miss my teeth for I'm letting you guys know that of all the things, I've heard you guys say a lot of gay shit, but you quoting that song is like. <laughs> what, what, quoting what song? The boom, boom, boom. That is someone who has witnessed animation memes, and that shows. 
That shows what you are. I H O T. -E I know what you I are. Have, yeah. I have videos. I will need to post them. You know what's funny? First of all, Not I that, know no. two rock covers of both of those songs. What? Hot to go. And uh, boom, boom, boom. Those are two very different songs from two very different eras, but that's great. <laughs> yeah, someone created a metal version of the of both. Awesome. Can my headset not die? Uh, no. Yeah, my uh, send it to die. Rupert for repair. Uh, would you like me to make a perception? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm doing something else. Um, hey, so what does... What? What's up? What? <laughs> Enhanced condition changes. Bloodied. What? Oh, because everybody <laughs> had everybody had taken a long rest. Bar you. And technically speaking... You will have, I was about to say, suffered the benefits of a long rest. <laughs> you will have taken a long rest. So, updated that real quick so that way we don't forget, because the last thing we want to do is be mid combat or something to. In our next session, and you end up, um. Well, fucked. Yeah. But, as is all. Drive, it's because of my pictures, that's why. He's all drive towards the scab. You get to the scabs. You get back up to the scab. There's no real issues there. Um, you can, however, okay. at this point, make a perception check. All okay, is a car ride more than an hour long? It's an ever wrong. Ever, an ever wrong? It's an ever long. A yes. 30? A 30? God damn! He is seeing damn, everything. Boy. My character rolled a zero on a perception check yesterday. <laughs> Don't worry, Gark rolled a zero I rolled a on a negative one charisma once. check. It was I was wondering if I could attune to the amulet in the meantime, but I'm guessing not if I'm also a lookout. You can't attune to the amulet, period. You're a cleric. Or a paladin. Oh. Or an artificer. I did no. not know that. Shit. Well, you had a cleric. I, I genuinely messaged Ruby when you said I want this, and I'm like, why does he want this out of curiosity? <laughs> I forgot that. Maybe you can try attuning to the Fate Dealer's deck. <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just destroy the omelet. Oh, Magic item. Can't. Yeah, but Maddie probably can. Potentially. We'll find out eventually, but... You get there, Gark, you see... As you start your claim, rather large gashes in the scab. Ew. <laughs> and only very recently healed. Do they go like something in the scab, or is it just going in or out? In. Oh, lovely. So the scab, mate. Oh, they were in the. Some something clawed its way into the scab. It's probably those that ran away, came back with something or someone. Could I make it a, uh, a check, like survival or whatever, to see if if these cuts and gashes look familiar or yeah, 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 yeah. you know, survival. Maybe, maybe a character, a creature that can make them. <clears throat> survival works that on one that. Sorry, survive. Yep, survival works on that one. No claws. Okay. Well. Oh no. Oh um. Take a look, see. I don't actually know which way we went to, so I'm just gonna go in a fat limb here and just go a direction. You're hearing. Or I'll be a little smart and I'll ask Corby. Hey, Corby, do you remember the way? Yes. You are hearing a lot more laughter. There's been a lot on my mind. Um, I think Lulu might be somewhere down here as well, but further. Actually, I'm going to make a check real quick. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Never mind. You do see that there are yeah. still large gashes in here as well. Areas that you had initially carved for yourselves. Oh, yeah. Are <clears throat> long healed. Almost forgot about that shit. 
Oh, yeah, I do have something to say real quick. Currently to you, because yeah. you're the only person next to me. Lulu I'll move is probably Rupert, the only pain of existence. I like to talk while I slowly climb down, because I remember this being in drop. Calgus, I uh, will say, because you looked into a room, <clears throat> and it is on the map. I'll give you the description of that room, if you want to move back just in case. Sure. That particular little area that you saw. Tunnel leading to this cave narrows to a height of two foot, requiring you to initially crawl through if you were. The floor of this dark cyst is strewn with bones and dotted with weeping sores. Shallow niches gouged into the scabby walls hold an assortment of stopped flasks, polished black orbs, humanoid skulls and other curios. I learned that was a word today. Um, flasks with something in, or empty flasks? Court flasks is all you've really got right now. Everything right now is kind of, you know, covered in blood. From the... Are there any area? flasks that are nearby enough to, to pull in either by hand or... Um, by like put in my axe and you know with the hook on the back of my axe sadly they are all at the back <clears throat> okay well just going back then yep. um as I was saying um Lulu is probably in a different plane of existence but she hears the same laughter we do do any of y'all reckon that this scab thing might connect to a different plane of existence? Potentially. It's very we've seen, we've seen lots of here. demons here. I'm hearing at this Maybe point, it's like the... Oh, sorry, go A lot of snarling and laughter. Deep and bellowing. I was uh, going to say maybe it's like the... Uh, Remember we were when we were initially I think it was when we found the Duke with the helmet, there was like a portal with demons or devils coming out of it. Maybe it's a similar situation. Um I can oh, try and scout out the next bit. Ah. And he goes to crouch. And uh, you're welcome to join me if we can be quiet as a group. Not very good at that. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I, figured. I figured. So I'll give them. Um, I'll give uh, the good old frog creature a tap on the back. You can do it, buddy. If only I knew. Our inspiration. He just breaks into song mid sneak. <laughs> just looks him dead in the eye. Oh, you can do it. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. You hear it now, more than ever. The large shrieking and banging and scraping. I suppose now the question is more, can you see it? Can't. Is it snarls and screeches? You hear the bangs off of the door. You know it's the door. And you can hear it being assaulted. From our side or the other? From your side. Okay, so maybe um, I'll climb down and try. Would you like me to repeat the sneaking roll now that we're close by creatures? Ah, uh, no, you're fine. You're seeing the okay. tippy tail edge of it initially. Holy fuck! And as you're coming in, you see it more and more and more, and then you glimpse its face. Smash. <laughs> oh no. What? what the fuck? What? I, <laughs> I think I, I also now know too. where Lulu is. Hello, oh, hi, and welcome to the advert. So this is probably going to be a good time to go ahead, pause, maybe take a break. However, we do have a few little things that we should discuss. So, firstly, we are still available on Patreon, and we are still available on Coffee. 
links are in the description. Uh, there is now some stuff up there that you can buy and also get for free. Just a kind of way to support and all the rest of it. And I will be adding more stuff as updates come to the map making software. So do keep a little lookout for that. Now, once again, we are still partnered with Adventure on. Their link is in the description if you want to play D&D. With absolutely no strings attached, uh, be that with some one shots, some fun little games, or even some smaller campaigns, by all means, just join below. A link in the description. Uh, you may even see games run by myself. So, the schedule. We've had to write this down. So, firstly, here's the times. 8pm Central European. 7pm GMT. 2pm Eastern Standard. 1pm Central Standard. And 11am Pacific Standard. For all the games you're about to hear, that is the days that they will go live on YouTube where you can watch the videos. Now on Monday, it's Icewind Dale Rain with the Frost Maiden with some familiar faces. On Tuesdays, we have Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. On Thursdays, we have a level 1 through 20 Vecna Eve of Ruin with some other little homebrew and some official modules in there as well. So keep a little eye out on that one. And on every second Saturday, we have Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, where I am the player and not the DM. That one is going swimmingly. And now I'm going to pass it over to Past Me with the longer hair to tell you about Dungeon the Mad Mage. Now for our live games we have Dungeon the Mad Mage. Now if you are in the US that is on a Friday night and if you're basically anywhere else in the world it's a Saturday morning. So uh, if you are in the US it is 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're anywhere else in the world, such as myself, that's 1 a.m. UK GMT, 2 a.m. Central European Standard Time, and 9 a.m. Hong Kong Time, because uh, Ronan is on that time, so we'll include it for uh, anyone in that time zone. So yeah, uh, that about is everything. Let's get back to it. Um, oh, <laughs> I will briefly. now very much ask you to make that stealth check at disadvantage. <laughs> Don't pass the message cantrip before or after. Does message have a verbal component? Do it at the same time. One can still whisper. The only reason it's disadvantage now is because someone over there has some light. <laughs> um, well, light? it does say target, and only the target can hear it, so whispering is fine. Yep. Um, I'll whisper to Corby um, uh, that Lulu spoke of you know who coming big no I think Lulu might be behind the door as well and I will make that check right now peace and thank um, you ooh. I'm looking at this stat block and for some weird and wonderful reason this creature speaks Aracocra <laughs> really? Yeah. Aracocra. Why that specifically? That's just the one that stands out to me as odd. Aracocra. Think... Never mind. Oh, you can think as much as you want. Verbalize it as well. No. <laughs> think, think you difficult when play smile. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> we all no, noticed. I don't think it's just when you play Smiles. So yeah. What's the plan? What's the play? What are you thinking? What are you doing? Well, you told me to make stealth. I'm just uh, waiting to see if that... Everybody else um, as well. You're, 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 you're down there, you're seeing it, and you've passed information on. So nothing happened after that spell? I'm seeing what everyone else is doing or prior, self. like, you know, before that. See what they're doing. If nothing, I'll come back to you. Yeah, I'm just waiting because I, I can't see clearly, so I'm waiting to see what smiles. I'm just staying I'm just waiting me. at the back here, right next to the rocks, so that the light doesn't go above the rocks. As you are doing this, and... Mm. The creature drags its knuckle across the ground. It's no longer bloody, as you know. It's stone at this point. Flesh 
all on the ground. If it looks at you. Alright. I'll if nothing happened with that stealth, I'll try and No, climb something's up happening right now with that stealth. Okay. <laughs> I said it looks at you. I, I thought okay. Uh, yeah. It does it. Speaks up. Open the door. <laughs> because of that humanistic laugh that hyenas are known to give. Well, I got us into this mess. I uh, probably should try my best to get us out of this again. Um. Common. Oh, yeah, true. In what language? But does this fucker speak common? He speaks so much. No, not common. Oh. All of the above. He just speaks each one to the door and hopes that it knows, <laughs> each, each, knows each language. Well, it speaks it speaks infernal, so we'll go with infernal, because that makes sense where it is, knowing that, you know, looking at you, you don't look like no damn demon it's ever seen, but it'll try its hardest in infernal. <clears throat> and you can all hear it, not telepathically, vocally. I only know Elvish. I didn't. Um, Ruby, I think that's watermelon or something. Did he talk only to me or to us, an entire group? He spoke it out verbally, uh, and he can see beyond you, is what I will say. Just people beyond you can't see him. Man, if only there was someone who spoke Abyssal and Infernal. Gee. It's a shame they're not here anymore. God, it would be crazy. R.I.P. Farcible. Well, shit, running isn't an option anymore. Um, Smiles will RP, step up. Probably RP, one of the RP, most RP, dumb RP. fucking mistakes ever. And uh, in Infernal... You speak this language? It gives off that more humanistic laugh once more. Many languages are spoken by me. Not well, apparently. <laughs> wow, alright. That does it. I'll cry. <laughs> Weep, <laughs> then. <laughs> Weep then, hyena boy. <laughs> the syntax of the English language, he doesn't understand it. Like Yoda, he will speak. <laughs> you great lord of slaughter, could I, uh, would you allow me to get closer to you? He takes a step back diagonally. That yeah, weird step as he moves his hands towards the door. I said open it. I'll certainly try my best. Um, I have a few ideas of how to open it, but some of them might take a little longer than a minute. You feel me? I, um... Um... Look up at him. I'll ask him to feel you. <laughs> and I'll also ask him, um, also, would you like me to bow? Some some superior beings uh, prefer that. What does he contemplate? If, if yeah. possible, I would like to make a persuasion check uh, purely to come over as, you know, Obedient as possible, so that he doesn't uh, fucking smash me with three flails at once right here, right now. If you'll allow me to. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Someone went nuts over a 30, and this is a 31. <laughs> we are now buddies. <laughs> How did you roll two net 20s in like I, a I span of five minutes? get lucky every now and then. He grabs your hand, turns around, raises you up. We're the best of friends. Montage as you start to skip through a field of flowers. <laughs> as he looks at you. And... You've done well to get here so far on your own merits. Thank you. Now open the door. Oh, 
well, like I said, I'll try. And um, I'll point my finger at a door, or I'll touch a door first and see if I get any kind of response. You want to go <coughs> touch the door in a sexual way, or...? Well, I'll just start Pulls out this little thing hand. one time and that's it. Game over for Gark. Nothing but sex jokes. I mean, he's a bard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there are no lights down low. Uh, you speak Celestial at all? Gark. I can try to. Well, it's more so if you understand the inscription written upon this door. I can try to. <laughs> Explain what? how you try to. Uh... Never mind. I've, I've... Do you count it as a property? Uh, no. <laughs> where it says languages, common, infernal, sylvan, and giant. Yeah, where I say property, do you count the writing on the door as a property of said door? Yes. I'll... Um, yeah, I'll spend a spell slot for that. Just a minute. Do you... I'm sure you've done this last time under Farcible. It's great to see that you two think so alike. <laughs> uh, on the door, it says in Celestial, written in some runes, Against evil, we stand united. Only the pure of heart can enter these holy gates. Uh, you also know that it is surrounded by a field of abjuration. And that you require a good aligned creature to enter this door okay so not neutral then this will be a little finicky and up to your interpretation because i don't require to see the creature um but i point my finger at the door and whisper yell can you hear me because i know there's a yell on the other side and i don't need to see yell for this spell so, bleh. Oh, wait. What do you mean, oh, wait? This door doesn't have to be thicker than one inch, right? Mm. <laughs> you know, I think it is about... Otherwise, that. otherwise it'd go around the door, maybe through the, the meat wall thing. Uh, it doesn't need to be a straight line. Mm. Yeah, I think I said it was like very, very thick, big doors. Uh, so, nothing Whoa. there. As for the wall, at this point here, the wall is stone with just flesh creeping up it and constantly being, I'll use the phrase, necrotically eaten backwards. So it's constantly trying to grow but being knocked back like a tide. So can the candra go through that? Or? It cannot. Cannot. Oh, cool. Giddy. All right. Another spell slot. Here we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm try and speak to Yale. Yale. Um, I am a friend of Lulu. On the other side of the door. I am trying to be here. Can I teleport in? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Cool. Here's Alar. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to know you on the other side of the door. I'm trying to be a hero. Can I teleport in? That sounds shady as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm just here to inspect your fridge. Oh wait, 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 we're carpet. We're our renovators. <laughs> we're renovators! It's a callback. <laughs> oh you my god, holy shit. Get. Get a response. We say our hands covered in ichor. Only. the pure of heart. and. good. may pass this threshold. Ah. 
have an ID. However, that ID is very good, either very good, or it's very, very bad. Well, it's one of your ideas, so I'm, I'm leaning towards the former. No, the latter, sorry. Oh, shit. We'll see. Um, I'm always up for listening as I write things down, ominously. Can I ask, metagame, out of character, can I ask the advice of other people here? Because I am running on a limb right now. I would say you could pass stuff easily enough in the weirdest metagame fashion with a message cantrip, because it's a cantrip, towards Corby and Rupert and Kalzix, and they can have their own little conversations in regards to it and shout stuff back. So, okay, right now, my odd day is, I'm not casting this, by the way, this on a door... If it opens, if, um, it means that it opens and we can enter, but there's still a threshold. That's how a door works. So neither we nor fucking Yonogu over here can enter because it's still a threshold and doesn't allow entry. So then I open a door, we can fuck off in some way, maybe, and Yonogu hopefully fucks off as well. Or everything backfires, threshold is broken, and this fucking giant dog can just enter and kill us all. Wait, the giant dog is you know who? Who? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I... You didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, firstly, I'm pretty sure Nock will not actually open the door. Secondly... Sure? Um... Instead of op trying to open the door, we could also ask Yael... Um, to give us the swords uh, so that we can bring back Elturel, which is, which might be something that she is positive towards. It should open the door. I, can't, I don't see why it couldn't, it's... unless it's anti magic. <clears throat> Did you talk to Corby? Because Corby would suggest to you we got the um, the other demon to. For the door with blood. Maybe you could tell the other one that only the blood of someone like Zario could do it in terms of going get get it from her. So tell this demon I also yeah, he did ask Corby as well. So tell this demon right now that we need blood of Zariel to open a door. Only he can do it do it. Who smiles or you know who? You know who. Just canonically, that's his name now, I guess. You know her. <laughs> you know her. Just like the cult no. of lesbians. Oh, it's like Voldemort. Uh, that, that, that's just something that will be came out of. I, I, can't, I still can't see it. I can just hear it. I'll, um, I'll, I'll tell Big Demon Dog. I'm almost there to figure out a solution to open a door. Just give me um, just a hit more time. And I'll cast another message um, to Yale. And say, um, uh, we need Sariel's sword to bring back Elseworld to the material plane. I think I can only do one sentence. Whisper a message. Gods. Oh, I was about to say the gods created a comma, but like. As you speak this word, your reply. feel the wall is stopping you. Did I do sending? No, you clicked message. <clears throat> it's on the friend. Oh shit, I did sending. Okay. That's Fuck good. It, knock, off the, knock off the spell slot and just type it down what you were saying. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Another sending. And you said to her... I know what I'm naming this session. You know who? Sending. Uh, sending to you know who. <laughs> to you know who. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. We'll see. Or as you're doing this, you can hear that you know, you know uh, who's uh, getting uh. quite impatient as he is walking along, pacing. Uh, I want to say like the corridor. <clears throat> Yo, we need to sort free Elturel and bring peace only temporarily. I'm evil, but lawful. I adhere to promises and oaths. Gonna follow in his brethren's footsteps and just start eating the wall. <laughs> <laughs> wall sandwich. What do you think we've been eating? You get the response back. No evil shall pass the threshold of Citadel. Yes, motherfucker, that's why I'm asking you to pass the threshold. <laughs> I can't keep doing these sendings, mate. They're only doing half of them. All right. Um, uh, you, see, well... you, said, you said, yeah, we need the sword to free Elturel and bring peace. Only temporarily. I'm evil, Shit. but lawful. I adhere to promises and oaths. How is that my fault? <laughs> It in no, I, I thought I wrote something different. Um, okay. Also interesting that you call yourself evil. <clears throat> Look, I'm in a bit of a pinch, yeah. right? Might have fucked up. I'm, not and, oh. I'm evil, but you gotta trust me. <laughs> trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. I murdered those people for my own gain, but it was heroic while I did it. Listen, I'm evil, but like, I'm being honest about it, so I like, can't be that bad. Yeah. Unless Tom has something to say, because I think he got cut off. Yeah. Okay, I walk up to you know who and go, Great Lord of Slaughter, I've figured out how to open that door. Break Unfortunately, down. we need your help to do that. Because, oh. would you be willing to hear me out right now? He bends down, you can smell the rot and decay on his breath. I'm listening. The way to open that door is with the blood of an arch devil. <clears throat> now, I know of one arch devil that lurks around here, and her name is Zariel. However, we need someone strong and mighty in order to get some of that blood from her. And then we also need someone nimble to carry it away and hide before their, you know, the blood is stolen by Zarya or her minions. This leads me to believe that I could be subservient to you. You break apart Zarya, at least to the point where she's bleeding. I get the blood, hide, wait for you to meet me here, and we can open a door. And then kill everything that we come across. Now, what do you say? Because with the help of some mighty strong adventurers, we might be able to actually get done. You know, this whole endeavour. If you want me to make a persuasion, or if my... my... Raw play is good enough, I don't fucking know. Um, just let me know. He places his hand, this huge claw on your head. And as he comes right down to your level, like the way you're not supposed to talk to someone with dwarfism. And as he <laughs> looks you dead in the eye. I have fled the charge against Thariel. For almost two hundred years, locked in stalemate. Yeah. I can't Can I interrupt you real quick? Close. Oh, sorry. I thought you was done talking. Cry. However, did you have humans? Not demons, you know, because everyone hates fucking demons, aside from me, of course. But just humans that have made a deal with Cyril that 
found an audience with her and maybe could get another audience. Prop ambush? Who knows? Teleportation? Also an art day. There's a bunch of options that we can consider. Maybe outside of this scab, you know. But I'm sure a uh, mass intellect strategist like you, you know, god of slaughter, um, could definitely come up with a plan together with the help of some other smart individuals. He throws his hand out towards the peanut gallery. Come closer. Oh. Of you. I couldn't hear that, sorry mate. <laughs> Come closer, all three of you. And he points towards Corby, Kalzig, and Rupert. There was a chance that the creature didn't see you. <laughs> Kalzig runs away! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a demon lord of gnomes and slaughter and whatever. That's he looks at yes. Do you think you could get an audience with Zariel? Well, we have to, don't we? Because our other option is probably die at the hands of you. Comes right in. And what do you want from in there? As he points towards the door. <clears throat> God knows what's in there. What Me, I just want. want in. Oh. in there, this might be a weird roundabout way of thinking and it's only what i know in there i think there's something that can properly kill zariel you know maybe other arch devils as well which could have benefit <coughs> for both of us you see what i'm going at i want to try and get that thing wherever it might be inside of there and then we can all do willy-nilly again if you want me to do deception or persuasion just let me know or use my passive as oh. you're saying this you can see that he's looking at everybody now. Uh oh. Can I have a group deception check? You're hearing what he's saying. However, there is also oh. your dousing smiles. This is Dude, not. This is not the moment to roll <laughs> almost in that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, Can you yeah, Rico? <laughs> uh, real quick, since Smiles probably has the best chance out of all of us, uh, I'm going to use Flash of Genius on Smiles. Sure. What does that do? So. Gives you a plus and then three. I'll roll my deception. Yep. yep. Uh, also, Calgus has a, a, a Bionic Inspiration still, I believe. He's a long rest. Sure when did you give him it? I gave it to him be right when Smiles made his stealth check. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Okay, yep. I'll say that's been less than I 10 minutes ago. I remember that. And then, yes. do I have any spells or 13. things that can fuck this? And then, Corby, you got a 10. I used up a uh, King Kui. Oh! 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 My god. <laughs> zero? He has rolled a zero. Should I even add the modifier I... at this point? My modifier I... is negative. My modifier. <laughs> Oh. This is when this is when having that uh, your... very talkative, charismatic warlock in the party being present to boost. If up only we had like two charisma casters. <laughs> only yeah, we had our warlock <laughs> and our minor sorcerer. Kalzik, do you want to throw yes, that D ten on there real quick? By the way, out of curiosity. I don't know if it would matter much. I, I wouldn't happen to have inspiration, would I? For being such a fun little lad and killing someone. Can you someone. do away with that? There's, there's only one person here with inspiration, and that's Ripper. 
Maybe I you have inspiration? When did I get that? You should that? use that. You like, like, that already. 20, 30 sessions? I, no, I thought, I thought I used that a while ago. Did you use it in the scab? No, I, I did. I just... I used mine in the scab. I could have sworn I don't have any. Uh, is just there? Is it. there? So just take it. Correct them. Take it. Yeah, what the fuck? It also I'm says okay. you're prone, which is really weird. <laughs> this is like when kids remind the teacher they have homework up. Because I'm a good sport. <laughs> I'll also add my uh, add my flash of genius. Which I mean, here I'll just say this: Scottish, you have final say. Do I or five. do I not? I'll give you. Yeah, I've got no issue. So third. Fuck it. So oh. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh my god! Holy ten. god! I blessed <laughs> upon you. So then, I'm very good here. Uh, two minutes, I'll be back. Of course, of course. Whilst I'm doing my math here, now it actually benefits me to add the modifier on rather than just rolling a flat d20. Let's see, you get thirteen, thirteen, ten, and then. Rupert can add five to that. I can? Flash of Genius. No, he can't. He gives Flash of Genius to Kalki. Yeah. yeah. But Kalki's gave it to him, didn't he? No, Kalki's used it on himself. Yes. Because Kalki's so rolled, rolled a total of a nine once he threw his Bardic on. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Only me at Five rolls. So, <laughs> we get two 19s, two 13s, and a 10. Vade that by five. Uh, Sorry, not five. Four. Wait, that's that's five numbers. Aren't we just four? Criticals uh criticals count as double. So if you got a crit you got a nat oh. you got a crit a natural one, two fails, a natural twenty, two passes. Okay. Uh, but and nine it changes the average. Fourteen, not thirteen. You're right, so I'll just add plus one on there as well, real quick, buddy. Because I am bad at math. So that makes 75 divided by 4, 18.75 rounded down to a total of 18. That's not bad, oh, that's oh. not bad. Not bad considering prior it was 14. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> round it down. Uh, because D&D &D rules are round down. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Wizard the Coach just hates us, that's what. Yep. <laughs> It's, it's, to, it's to stop like that game. debate. It's to stop like that debate all round it like they say around it this way. So, he looks round. He's used all, hey, you know, nervous laughter, smiles, chuckles. Chuckles, you say? Oh fuck yeah! Chuckles. <laughs> I'll let you hear a war cry. I have committed various war crimes. I'm scared by Scottish's face. What is going on? To be fair, I think Kalgis would be more confused rather than nervous laughter because Kalgis doesn't even know about like half of the things that Smiles has just said. He leans on in. Then you and I have a pact. Oh. You see that huge toothy grin come over. Yeah, no. Um, brother rolled a what fucking did... seven. Giddy. He rolled if, a seven. If I, if I hadn't, if that math hadn't been fixed, it would have been beats <sighs> it. Beats it. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You are. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> no, what did you say on there, Gork? Would you care to shake on it, or whatever you gnolls do in your culture? He mm. places out his huge hand. Smiles. You only hear it. The rest of you see it. Gork, you hear. Birds, nature, the tweeting and song singing, you hear voices of children laughing, 
coming from behind you. Calgis, Corby, Rupert. Mm -hmm. You see a perfect sphere appear. And the noises come out, and even you know who, you know, shifts over at the side a little as his hands out, looking at this to see what's going on, and looking around to see if you have done anything. The only way I can describe this is when you see a drop of water hit a basin of water, and that one singular droplet comes up at that perfect photo moment. You should be a poet. As it does. You watch as it just boom, drops like a bass drop. Before and standing there all of a sudden behind you are these fucking cunts. <laughs> God. You come oh, into man. this room, the scab once more, your odd teleportation having worked. You see smiles, you know smiles, you love smiles, maybe. And you see this huge, toothy, matted creature covered in chains. It smells, it, it is fearful. And it's oh. not ten foot away from you, towering over. Oh great, this place might R still yet become my coffin. To repeat myself, smash. <laughs> no. We fade way. to black mm -hmm. when this character and you know... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Russell turns to like everyone else, he just looks at them, gives away. Good evening! Uh, it's hello! Evening. Rupert uh, lights up. <laughs> hello, Devil's Horn. Uh, I, I killed the robot. Oh! <laughs> what a shame. Anyways. Okay, so you, um, oh, what now? Sorry. Uh, let me introduce myself. Ember. Hello. Um, I don't think you want to shake my hand right now. But uh, you... pleasure to meet you. What robot did you kill? A malfunctioning one. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Because I'm, I'm, I was. It, it, funny that you mentioned that. I was looking for a a warforged. I think it's in the car. Warforged are robots, not. I think it's a little. Uh, I think it's a little racist to say that warforged are robots. No. Well, this one is is a metallic kind. Uh, so they they colloquially get called robots. Apologies if that's insensitive. I don't have the most experience with them. That's all right, bigot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a joke. Um, you know who must be so confused right now. <laughs> see, like he's getting no lips to form any other facial movements. You just see the eyebrows, this huge, toothy grin, and like yes, yes, murder, and the eyebrows are like, what the fuck. <laughs> uh, don't worry, there's just more of our forces uh, that we can use to help. What, what, what do you need that war forged anyway? Well, uh, I was hearing rumors about a a, a part of my my uh, my cleric order uh, uh -oh. making on. a little. Uh oh, sorry, just, no, just moving this. away. You know, <laughs> <laughs> making helping a lot of people in in Elchville. So I can't stress enough. I need to leave this conversation right now. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, you see. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> My dog is going potty right now. What's up? That's all right. Uh, well, I, uh... What did we call it? No, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, there, there was a, a Warforged that is part of my cleric order that was doing a lot in Eltra to help people. So I got sent here to uh, uh, assist with their with their with their missions and whatever they needed. So where can I find this? I think their name was Opal. Um. 
Did I pick up any of the scrap left behind um, by the car? Or did I just leave everything behind? I think I left everything you behind. You still, to my knowledge, unless otherwise, you still have the Fate Dealer's deck, the Infernal Tact, and the Cloak of Billowing. Um, this is one of the few things that are left of her. You can have it if you want it. Le left of her? Left of her? What, yeah. what <laughs> happened to her? Ah, uh, destroyed. Grounded to bits and pieces and scrap. She turned oh, evil. What? Oh. What? Hey, Ruby, make Would you like the throw. Hey, first, we'll make it with some save and throw. I'm joking. What? I'm joking. You gotta take a long rest first. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, is she already evil? No. I was joking. Don't oh. Would you like the amulet? <clears throat> you can have it. Uh, sure. Uh, what, what did her in? Uh, I put her in a car and grounded the bits and pieces because she was evil. And uh, <laughs> it was a good thing to do. Trust me. This, um, would you believe me if I told you that this place we're currently in, these hells, they have a weird thing that twists your mind. And I guess they kind of twisted hers uh, to the point where she held people kind of the wrong way. She also tried to push me into the river sticks. There you go. Does she also there... tried to banish someone, I believe. Just hinder us in total. Not exactly helping people. I can't actually oh. recall a single time she's helped someone. Oh. Does it Damn this mind twisting happen to everybody? No. 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 <laughs> Only to those. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. Pa, pa, pa. You're just all here, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, as, oh. as Rupert walks oh. over, Marcel is just standing there with like his arms crossed. He just raises an eyebrow with a slight smile. So, come here often. Uh, I'd like to give the amulet of the devout to uh, what's Solar? Ember. What, what was it? Ember. Ember. Solar is a good name. Man. I thought Solar. he said Sonar. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> Bing! Oh, Bing! Make noise. It's uh, oh, on your sheet. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Rupert's currently fussing over Farcival looking for injuries. I'm fine. I've had <laughs> adventures in Neverwinter to keep me safe. I'm probably doing better than you are. Look, Ember, mate. We're going to always talk about it on the car if you need a therapy session. I have lots of things to talk about. However, I'm a licensed therapist. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm Ember, Ember just looks you up and down, sees you like covered in bloody, bloody robes, scratches, like scars. I'm, I'm sure you are. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hold on. So, I uh, yeah. Um, Smiles will will cast a message cantrip and just kind of whisper so that you know good doesn't hear it. You said you're a cleric, right? Do you know ceremony? Uh, but, well, what? Per perchance? Why? Why would you need that? You can't just say perchance. <laughs> <laughs> perchance? Why not? Per se. <laughs> we need some good to open this door. However, uh, these are all message cantrips, by the way. I really don't want you know to hear this. However, we need to get rid of that big fucking dog over there first. This this door <laughs> lifts up she... his back leg and pisses on the rock. Ember, Ember, hers like, oh, we need somebody good to open this door. She walks to the door and put, like, puts her hand on it. Well, Can I try to you stop gotta be her? fucking kidding me. Can I, I try to stop her? I would have cast message before that, say don't touch it while she's walking. But if, if yeah. uh, <laughs> doesn't it take six I... seconds to cast a cantrip? Not just that. Not just that. It was no, a like, message was cantrip. Oh wait, I wouldn't have heard. Never mind. Rupert has. I well, I guess. It's... Message can only be heard by the recipient. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, but I do see her going for the door, right? Yeah. Can yeah. I try to intervene? On what grounds? Well, she came from the material plane, and wait, didn't she just say? Did she just say out loud? Everything. Oh, this oh, door. I think. Message, does it allow the person to reply, Gark? No. Oh, no. Wait, actually. 
I don't uh, think so. Uh, yeah, it can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. Oh, never mind. So uh, then here. Hmm. No, she says it out loud, like to herself, like, "Oh, this door." Uh oh. Do you want me to make a perception check for that? Then I guess. Let me run passives. Makes this a lot easier for all of us. Passive steel versus passive. Yeah, but passive of twelve. Okay, I want both of you to roll an initiative roll. Oh, so roll. Me too. I'm not gonna like fight her. I'm just you know, no, no, like... no, no. For know. action. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Meets gotcha, it, gotcha. beats it. So for action. So yeah, sure, you want me here to start off? Like I wish for uh, it. The yeah, you'll take you'll have taken a step, and then whatever your so whatever your uh and uh, uh initiative no is. Yeah, that just roll the dice normally. So one d twenty plus mod. Jesus Christ, Ripper. Dex check. Uh, wait, hold on, wait. The flash of genius work on this. Oh my god. Yeah, would guidance work on this? <laughs> <laughs> I think Flash of Genius doesn't work on initiative. It says ability checks are saving throws. Initiative is an ability check. Initiative is an ability check, and that's why Guidance works with it. Nice. Uh, Flash of Genius, uh, my initiative. So why exactly 18. are we trying to stop her? So you know, that makes it, you know that makes it another beats it, beats it situation, right? Uh, doesn't it go with modifier then? It would. Bush, bash, bush. Fuck. Oh well. Ember with the oh. plus two gets to the door. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> and put my hand on it. Piss the hand on it. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Why are all the good people dumb? <laughs> Blinding quite light starts to pierce from the door. Now, is anybody here classed as an undead? No. 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 <laughs> you know who? You know what you're doing. You watch as he starts to sear and burn before he runs and as he does smells you hear his voice We made a pact. Honor it. But very painfully for him, as he proceeds to not run out the scab, but literally fucking dig through the scab, sprinting, just carving his own path, man. He is a free spirit. God damn. A bright white light burns away blood and grit on your clothes. Restorative energy brings life to numb muscles as the glow softens to reveal the interior of the sun-kissed cathedral. How light passes through the scab and into the stained glass windows is an entire mystery in and of its own. But that's what's happening here. Pillars line paths from the door to a raised dais carved in celestial runes, embedded in a stone atop a dais, is a glowing longsword. I have, ladies and gentlemen, an image. As soon as I, there we go, here, to chat, two players. That is what you oh, see. Oh, baby, yeah. I can taste that level looks... 11 already. <laughs> that looks spectral. <laughs> Let me look at what I get next level. <laughs> the holy power restores the citadel. You all gain the benefit of a long rest. Yes. Oh my god, Smell's yeah. got all of his spells back. <laughs> I get all my flash of genius back. Oh no. You look, the interior of the citadel is one large alabaster chamber. Brightly lit by magic. magic. So, who here reads Celestia? Why, you say, uh, no one's actually said you've walked in. That's the crazy part. I don't actually speak so, Celestia. Just Elvish. That, I do. That was, 
That was the door you guys struggled with? Uh, it's a long one of, those, one of those good hearted is most are. The play Smiles. has effects on us. Smiles, you I... spoke with the the lady behind the door, right? Yes. What did you say? Only good hearted people can enter. Probably, if we cross that threshold, we're as dead as that fucking no over there. I'm willing to test that. Go ahead. Alright. As Rupert just immediately attempts to walk you through. <laughs> you walk into the door and you feel that a wash of energy. You don't feel right being here. You feel out of place. Am I being hurt? Emotionally, like, yes. You just but get nothing that it, it's basically just a bad sense. Bad but juju. It's uncomfortable. Bad it's juju. uncomfortable, but believable. Uh, it's a Please don't one. kill yourself. I just got back. I I step inside as well. If Rupert like doesn't die immediately, uh, Smiles will enter as well. Yep. You walk on in. Um, Calgis will stay back, but send to Steel Defender. Oh my god. Steel fuck. Defender! Yeah. yeah! I love the fucking crab. This crab people. Walks to the crab door, no issue. Fossil, do you feel wrong? I feel wrong in here. Fossil, you enter and. You feel wrong, yeah, but you don't feel like, you know. You don't feel out of place in that regard there, you just feel... Awkward. Of course uh, Dodgeball doesn't feel out of place in that evidence. <laughs> I feel more the... Yes. Like I'm a Candlekeep than I am in a place of... That's going to hurt me. Wait, you're for, from Candlekeep? For all those who are evil aligned, you feel... Almost unwelcome in that regard, an anxiety of unwelcomeness for all those neutral you just feel out of place you feel like that one guy who's like he's he's went with his friends to a, an art museum and you know fuck all about art but your friends are there so you're happy for them and if you're a good aligned creature yeah that's fine you know it's just like walking into any other building with all your friends you're the guy who suggested going on the tour of the art museum <laughs> Corby just... steps up next to Smart smiles and says you, uh, you said that Lulu said spikes yeah think... and I, I knew what's coming yeah there's like beyond that wall he put to the north there was uh, sort of like a a sign of effigy that had spikes do you think she might be trapped around there do we Probably. save it for later now that the door's open it is spikes as you did hear laughing and you know who you reckon it's worth checking out well, I mean, we don't need to open the door, but... It's always nice to have another ally up in hell, isn't it? Yes. But Lulu is the one who got us here. It might not be right or uh, heroic to leave her behind. Brother, I always... <laughs> Brother, I already made a decision. No need to guilt trip me over it. <laughs> he used the hitch word, oh, guys. No. <laughs> 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 Wait, sorry, oh no. sorry. This place has an effect on me. I apologize. Calogus, what are you doing right now, Curiosity? Well, I heard the conversation between Corby and Smiles. Um, so I would scout around the corner over here. I can't. And there. Like, are you going towards the effigy? Yes. And let me save you the time of the walk. And the... As you get past the bloody pool, it's still the same old bloody pool, but there's a lot of flesh kind of grown over it now. It looks like overgrown vines. And as you get to the... As you get to the effigy of Yunoka, you don't see anyone. And there are no spikes. You were to around a little. And you shout. And I've been shouted at. But uh, there is no Lulu. Derek, there is no Lulu. You do discover one thing, though. Gnolls are fucking horrible artists. I want to just destroy the effigy. Like, chop it apart. 
Take 5d10 psychic damage, you die. How is he? Bust it apart. Ripping yes. it limb from limb. Sorry, I got asked where the fucking dog was. Check here and see if there is anything in it, just in case. Do 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 Make a dexterity saving throw. Nice. Uh-oh. And then... 3, 3, 4... Beats it, beats it! You chop it apart and you all just kind of just... <laughs> off in the fleshy mounds. Uh, wow, wow, that is impressive that it rolled the exact number in the book. <laughs> uh, you take 11 points of piercing damage. It's okay. impressive. Uh, there we go. While this is uh, happening, the like, ember just steps inside and just takes in like the the view of the citadel and just kind of looks around. Beautiful place. Do we have a map for it? Is it or is it just like no map? Just a little chapel with a with a sword in the middle, and nothing else. No map. But what comes next is. Where things get a little bit more fun. Mm. You hear the That's sound of feet. This, like high heels on marble, walking oh God, towards oh. you. Translucent image of a woman in her thirties, wearing plate armor and bearing a thin scar upon her cheek, appears in front of you. Smiles, you know this is the girl who laid you flat in your ass with one punch. She looks at you as... The sword will pick whoever is worthy. She watches her hands start to move. You will see... The final moments before all of this came to fruition. You hear this almost, I want to say, bass drop again, this boom! As the citadel seems to disappear around you into nothing but darkness. It reminds you of the plane you have to spell. Instead, however, the noises are what come first. Very muffled and out of focus. The smells then seem to start to linger just a little bit. The smell of wrought irons and fire, brimstone and gore are replaced by the smells of burning smoke, hay and straw. As you then start to hear screams, everything comes into focus. Stand at the edge of a small town of burning cottages, fields, and trees. This place is besieged. A small sign on the ground reveals the settlement's name. The shrieking townsfolk run from crackling, snarling demons and gnolls. People are strung up, hung, quartered, torn asunder. You look down at your feet and see the words written on the sign. Idyllically. I D Y L L G L E N. You feel different here. Things are off. 
but it's as real as anything you've encountered so far. As you see the name, and the name is read out aloud, you can make a history check, or a religion check, if you so wish. Yes, please. Oh, 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 does anybody want to break this streak of 20s? There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first roll of this character. Is a fucking one. My God. First of all, where are you? Sorry, I'm, I was marveling. Still Defender has a minus two. <laughs> oh? My god. Still Defender's I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I didn't do anything. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The Steel Defender just starts playing Crab Brave. <laughs> For those of you who rolled higher than a 20, you Except know... Me. Meets it, beats it? Meets it, beats it. <laughs> you know that ages ago, Adeliglin was threatened by Null tribes. The Nulls raided the town. A cleric by the name of Soldnor Brightstar, that's a fucking name, Cleric of Lathander led the people to prayer. He asked the gods for aid. The gods were moved by this bravery and sent down an angel to defeat the gods after driving off the gnolls the people erected a statue of this angel generations later the gnolls returned this time with demons in their ranks and you know now that you now, now that you mentioned yeah fuck uh you know who? Himself. And in this town, bore one of the holiest of battles between demon and angel. As the person who the statue was erected to came down once more to try and beat the fuck out of a you know who. It dawns on you who rolled over a 20 or a 20 and above. That these are the events which you are about to watch unfold. Oh. And so I ask. In fact, no, I don't ask. We've only been going for two fucking hours. Provided this map is... Provided I've made this map up. Provided the map has all the enemies on it. Initiative. The map does not have all the enemies on it. So! How about we take a five minute break for the first time in 43 sessions? <laughs> I, I am leaving in like 10 minutes. Oh, don't worry, I know somebody that can play Schmaus very well. <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> Quinn, please. Yeah, of no. course. Dealers! Don't dealers, do this to me. Dealer's choice, then. I'll leave it to you now. Call it two hours and ten. Pick it up next week. Based on the information that Gart's given. Or can you can be greedy, I'm not going to stop you. You're all lawful evil. I kind of want to wait till next session since this is the beginning of the fight. Yeah. yeah, like I said, like, it might, like it's gonna go on for a while. Alright. Yeah, this sounds like another like, potentially five hour fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, uh, you know, let me just check the, let me check the number in the book. Let's see how under leveled you are. Do we get level oh. eleven yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are under leveled, so you can we take level eleven now. We get, we get an anime power boost. <laughs> Let fucking go. Let's fucking go! Using the power of friendship that we've just gained from our new party member, <laughs> everyone feels invigorated. Uh, the party of begrudging allegiance. <laughs> and then you know what's funny? I get spell storing item right now, but now's not the time. Yep. <laughs> I can give you a revenge.